Oh boy, EJ's about to tear into another movie. Yay, 2019's been very weird. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's EJ Marino and this is About Last Night, the show where I talk about the movie I saw last night. We're going to be diving into a brand new review of the film Men in Black International. God. Much like Dark Phoenix that I reviewed a couple weeks ago, I wish I could go into this movie with more fire. I wish I could go into this being able to praise it. I wish I could go into this about to tear it up. You know, I'm about to tear this apart. Yeah, Men in Black International. I just, I'm so let down by it. You know, never mind, let me retract that. I'm not even really let down by this. I didn't have a lot of expectations going into this movie. Why were they rebooting this? This had that stink of like, ooh, Sony doesn't want to lose the rights to Men in Black, so let's make a new Men in Black. And that's honestly what this felt like. This felt like such a studio mandated movie that yes, the actors are fine. There was a couple good effects in this movie, but overall, I just don't understand why this movie was made. I don't understand why this exists exact movie itself was made. Overall, why do we need another Men in Black? But specifically, why Men in Black International? What about this movie struck people to be like, I can't wait to work on this because the script is generic, the action is boring, and nothing really happens that you haven't seen in a Men in Black movie before. I truly was at the end of this being like, okay, I saw that. Yay. Yes, my first major complaint about this movie is the script. Honestly, it's the overall vibe of this movie, but the script specifically really sticks out to me. If you would have put the first three Men in Black movies into a computer, and that computer fed you out a script for the next movie, that's what this feels like. It feels like a computer just made the most copy and paste movie ever. Do you want these two like team members to not really get along? What about a little alien sidekick? What about the villainous alien at the end turning into a big alien that they have to fight? Oh, but they're all protecting over a little object that has the whole universe in it. The same plot you have seen in the other movies, it's here but it feels even more dated. It stinks, like it stinks up the place even more now because I think this movie could have been better. I think there is a better movie deep down inside. Sure, I love it when um, Tessa Thompson and Chris Helmsworth work with that new little alien Pawnee who I do enjoy and I think he's really funny. But other than that, I was just like, so what are we doing different? What is new here? With director F. Gary Gray, I expected more style, more personality, more soul into this movie, but it wasn't there. This felt like they could have got any director. Honestly, if you would have told me director Barry Sonnenfeld came back from the first movie to direct this one, I would have been like, yeah, sure, it feels like the same movie. So that's what it feels to, you know, you have a director like F. Gary Gray who has done Set It Off, who has done Friday, who has done Straight Outta Compton, but you don't allow him to add that influence. You don't allow him to have his own personality in this movie. It felt like a robot directed this. This was the most just middle of the road, complicit movie I have seen. And that upsets me because I want these movies to either be more progressive or be a little, if you're gonna be worse, at least I would have more to talk about, but I can almost wrap up my review now going just, yay, another eh, movie. I feel like I'm just repeating myself that this is a soulless, generic, boring, middle of the road movie, but that's all it is. Like, that's all it really gives me. I wish I had more to critique. Like, the special effects are whatever. Like, sometimes they're a little weaker than the others, but for the most part, they look okay. The acting is fine. The alien designs are pretty men in blackish. That's overall. Like, you seen one, you seen them all. I don't know how we stretch this, like, franchise out from one movie to a trilogy but now to add a four this ain't toy story four you ain't got that like iconic fan base that's going to be with you so to redo it seems so odd but before i just start repeating myself again let's wrap this review up thank you so much for tuning into my review of men in black international what did you think of this review what do you think of men in black let me know all your feelings down in the comments below make sure you subscribe to my channel because i make videos like this every single week i cannot wait to talk about oh i almost forgot make sure you give me a thumb Thumbs up as well because YouTube takes those thumbs up very seriously. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Make sure you comment down below because I want to talk about Men in Black with you.